My name is Jessica Voss, and I'm an engineer at NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. I support the Artemis program as an Orion Crew Systems Engineer. Artemis is the program that's going to take the first woman and the next man back to the moon. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the difference between the deep space radiation that Artemis astronauts will experience compared to the terrestrial radiation we experience here on Earth. Joining me in this discussion today is my daughter, Jenna Voss. So Jenna, when we're here on Earth on a beautiful sunny day like this, what do we need to protect ourselves from radiation? <sighs> Sunscreen! So what about when we go to, say, the doctor's office or the dentist and they need to take pictures of our bones? What do we use then? A lead vest. That's right, a lead vest, kind of like this. So how come we need to wear a lead vest when we go get x-rays, but we don't need it when we're just hanging out by the pool? Because it has higher amount of energy. That's right. Okay, so I've got, we've got our sunscreen, we've got our lead vests. Do you think we're ready for a lunar mission? No. What? Why not? Because in space, solar particle events consist of protons, which have more penetration power than photons. Oh my goodness, for real? Yeah. So what are the astronauts gonna do then on Artemis missions to the moon? They get in the shelter, radiation shelter. Oh, so we don't need these lead vests anymore then?